Hi friends and welcome back to the Bearded Tinker channel, the channel where we tinker and automate everything we can. Today we got some colorful magic to tinker with, matter compatible smart bulbs and also LED strips from the brand called Linkind. That's Link plus kind, like when your smart bulb actually cares about your Wi-Fi signal. First up, this special edition A12 smart bulb. It comes in this quirky Jimmy Darts box, which if you didn't know is part of a mission to spread kindness. Every time one of these are sold, Linkind donates $1 to support Jimmy's feel-good shenanigans. That's a light bulb that really gives back. But of course, for me, I had to test the E27 light bulb. Inside the box, no weird surprises. Just clean package, the bulbs, the LED strip, controller and power adapter, and of course the smell of infinite automation possibilities. If you're into packaging aesthetics, this one is simple, but it screams that it works perfectly. As far as the installation, it's easy. These E27 bulbs screw like any other. And the LED strip? Just connect the LED strip with the included controller, then plug in the included power adapter into the controller plug it in the mains and that's it. So we plugged the bulbs, LED strip, but this is where the fun starts. These bulbs and the LED strip are fully matter certified, but we will talk about that in just a couple of seconds, because this also means that one setup will rule them all. Apple, Google, Amazon, SmartThings and best of all, Home Assistant. Basically, if it's smart, it works. But the main advantage of these bulbs, they work both with Bluetooth and also Wi-Fi. Of course, in the Metro protocol, Bluetooth is also used for the pairing, credentials, etc, etc. But in this case, if you install IODOT app, and I really do recommend that you try this app because it can work with both Home Assistant and the app at the same time. The app has one big advantage that I'll mention in just a couple of seconds. But back to connectivity. If, for example, your Wi-Fi is down, for some reason, you can still control the LED lights via the Bluetooth protocol over your mobile phone. That means that even if there is a glitch in the network, you can still turn on the lights or turn off the lights and just quit on everything. As far as the pairing is concerned, and if we are pairing it to the IODOT app, it is really straightforward. You have option of scanning the QR code, but you actually do not need to do that. Each light bulb is automatically detected via the app. And you do not need to add one bulb at a time. You can plug in as many bulbs you want. There is a limit, but believe me, it's big enough. And then just tick away the boxes of all of the lights that you want to add. Click on pair and the pairing is done. The app will send the credentials for your Wi-Fi network and you will see devices inside your app. The app is really good. Here you can sort devices by creating rooms and adding LED strips and also bulbs in the individual rooms. But you can also control them as a group, for example, all lights in the living room or all lights in the bedroom, etc, etc. As I said, from the app you get full control. You can change the color, you can adjust the brightness, you can switch from any of the presets. For example, you can mimic sunset in the Alps or prepare yourself for a horror movie you are about to play. Color temperature goes from toasty 1800 Kelvin to a cool 6500 Kelvin if you prefer the cool lights. And that's enough to satisfy both your romantic mood and also give you enough light to pretend that you are at the dentist office. But besides that normal stuff that you can do in the app, you can also create a scenes or automations. For example, you can play with the Cicardian light that changes the color temperature during the day. Or you can create a wake up light that slowly turns on at the time that you specify, or the evening light that fades away as you fade into sleep. That all can be done without any additional application, just through the IODOT app. Oh, but this is where it gets ridiculous, in a good way. There is also music sync mode, which turns your bulbs into your private disco or a rave party. You can go sync mode, where all the lights pulls together like they've been on a one too many DJ concerts. Or you can opt out for the async mode, and that means that each and every light will be pretending to be a teen and doing whatever they want to do. Either way, it is fun, but it's also very bright. Before we proceed, let's look at the quick lightning round of some of the features. 
we have Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth, dual mode support. That means that it is reliable even when your Wi-Fi gets weird. The devices support matter and it means that they play nicely with all the major ecosystems. The bulbs have CRI over 90, your colors vibrant, your selfies will be glorious. The app supports schedules, scenes and syncing, and it's enough to make your home dance. And best of all, it is compatible with other various IoT dot goods, one app to rule them all. But now let's get nerdy, because you all know where I'm heading. I hooked those up to Home Assistant by using the Matter integration. And yes, it was really easy, maybe even too easy. Scan, connect, boom, the bulb shows inside Home Assistant. And from there, it's a full-on automation fun. Color changes when the weather changes. Check. Mood lightning when Netflix starts. Check. Blinking red when your inbox is filled with over 100 unread emails. Check and maybe a green light when your account finally goes from the overdraft to the positive state. Well, that one I still have to see if it works. The final look. These bulbs look amazing in a cozy setup. I know these are just bulbs, but they really, really work well with both Home Assistant and IOD app. And this is how I have them set up. I'm using it daily inside Home Assistant app, but I still got them inside the AI dot app because that allows me party time to sync up all the lights when I have guests around and play some music. Both light bulbs and LED strip look pretty amazing. And I even tried automating them to go mild disco when the coffee machine finishes brewing because mornings need drama. So should you try link kind matter lights? Honestly, yes, they are reliable, colorful, matter certified and budget friendly. Remember, in a box you get four of them, plus supporting Jimmy Dart's kindness campaign. That's really a plus and a bright idea, if I've ever seen one. If you dug this review, smash that like button like you would smash a Zigbee hub, because these devices do not need any kind of external hub. Subscribe for more Smart Home Madness and let me know in the comments section how you would automate the lights in your home. I'm Billy Thinker, thanks for watching, keep automating, and before I end up the video, I have to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support, but let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, commented, liked or shared my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.